I'd been suffering from quite severe mental health problems and um, it was recommended to me by a local job centre, incidentally, um, that I go and do some volunteering just to get myself out. I, um, I'd, be, I'd been isolating myself at home, so the, the prospect of doing some work, getting some fresh air, meeting people was a big step. I volunteered first when I was 17. and. The reason I volunteered was I was in a girls' boarding school and had no social life. So it was a wonderful way of getting out and meeting people, especially boys. So I volunteered um, and worked with, on a Friday night, went to a social club where um, people came whose children had mental difficulties. And we just had a really good time and did lots of dancing. reclusive guy who recorded loads of stuff on tapes and lived in a house absolutely full of books and newspapers and things like that and was incredibly smelly I seem to remember but he was a really interesting guy and that was such a, a good experience um, simply because it got me out of school basically and into the world into doing things with other people do you know, yeah. I, did, I never knew that about you. I didn't know that was your first volunteering experience. No, well, you've just reminded me. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I think it really started wanting to do something physical because I'd just retired and I thought, I need some structure to my week. I need to start doing something and I want to be physical. And I had done some walking and gardening in the past. But at the start of something is really fascinating to, to have all that sort of empty space and just begin working with it. What, what I'm looking for is to feel part of a, a, a great project that's going on here, you know, um, looking at the, the, the fact that we're almost starting from scratch and you see the plans that June's produced um, and it's just to be part of the project and see these plans to fruition. As I say, with this being a blank slate, it's just wonderful to be able to create a garden from scratch. Even the basic things like tidying the site, it's good. And I think what we're doing now, you can actually see the shape of where the paths are going to be. It's going to be fantastic. Well, for me, it was the horticulture thing that really attracted me. And I was very interested in the opportunity to see a garden develop over time and be part of that. I think it's really calming as well because like nature only goes at one pace and you can't go fast, you can only go at a lovely pace. Like today, just looking out there, I think, gosh, it's windy, you're conscious of the wind and there's a tractor over there and like busy ploughing up over there, sowing seeds. Yeah. I want to feel part of the team. I want to, you know, improve my mental health. It's still, I still struggle a bit. So, um, the, the, the sort of the, the the good effects of of working in open air with a group of people um, that that would be a, and is of great benefit to me. Really fits in with my way of thinking about people and supporting and helping people and working alongside people. Works for me. The confidence I've gained from doing this project has been reflected in the confidence that I've gained in approaching other people. 
I know everybody talks about mindfulness these days, but when you think about gardening, it's never had that label attached to it, but it is a really mindful activity, and you can only go at a certain pace, it's slow and relaxing. And I'm looking forward to the polytunnel going up, because then I think we can get in there and start planting things and growing. And I enjoy, I really enjoy watching things grow. So I'm keen to get that started, yeah. I fully take on board the aims of the project, you know, what, what we can achieve here and I, I can't say that there's anything that I would, I would need to change that would make me feel more engaged with the project. So being in a place, seeing the unfolding of a day, being alongside people and being with it moment by moment is, is what I really enjoy and it almost doesn't matter that much what I'm doing as long as I'm doing something and being there. So, so that's it really, yeah. <laughs> You're open to anything. Well, more or less, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there are certain limits. So. <laughs> need to discover this. <laughs>